Hi guys, welcome to Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? We're so excited to take you along with us. We'll be spending the next nine days aboard this beautiful ship. We're also doing some on the spot recording, red leather, yellow leather. On the spot recording for our buddy Lance over at Deck 11 Cruising. Welcome back to Deck 11 Cruising. I am Lance, your host. Make sure to check out his channel. He'll keep you up to date on all the cruise related news. But first thing, let's show you this amazing ship. I spend a lot of my time at the workshop crafting or reading in the library. It's filled with so many activities. Activities and shit. You curse, you reimburse. It's packed with so many amenities and activities, you won't get bored for a second. From the Flowrider Surf Simulator and the iFly Skydiving Simulator to the multi-purpose sports courts and even an Xbox room. And of course, there's always the swimming pools in the casino. There's even a wonderfully equipped full-size gym, which means if you get bored, you're boring. <clears throat> She said it. First launched in 2016, the Ovation is one of Royal Caribbean's Quantum class ships. It's 348 meters long, which is about 1140 feet, carries 4,900 guests and 1,600 crew. Not a bad view for our private balcony, huh? It's gorgeous. Later that same evening. We're supposed to be visiting some exotic ports along the way, like Noumea, New Caledonia, and Villa and Mystery Island Vanuatu. Unfortunately, there have been some changes. This is our fourth attempt to visit Vanuatu by ship. In all of the previous attempts, there was a major medical issue just before we got there and we had to motor back to New Caledonia. This time, two weeks before we traveled to Vanuatu. The state of emergency has been declared in Vanuatu. In a couple of days, the island nation has been hit by two severe tropical cyclones and an earthquake. And to make matters worse, there was a 6.5 magnitude earthquake in the north. So at this point, I would not be surprised if Godzilla attacked the ship. I don't want to see him in person. <laughs> Our first stop is Noumea, New Caledonia. Noumea is a vibrant and colorful city with French and Melanesian cultural influences. It also has great beaches, but due to recent shark attacks, they're all closed. What's that out there? Well, at least we can explore the city on foot, visit the local market, and maybe find some delicious French pastries. Because there's never enough food on a cruise ship. Fourth time's a charm, we actually made it to Vanuatu. I'm so happy we finally made it to Vanuatu. This is our fourth attempt. It is amazing, it's beyond my expectation. Mystery Island is a tiny island in the South Pacific, accessible only by boat. And there's a rumor in aircraft. It's so small, the ship can't even dock here. We have to take a small tender boat ride to get over to the island. The white sandy beaches and crystal clear water are breathtaking. It's just a perfect place for a beach day. was supposed to be an overnight in Villa Vanuatu, but as we covered due to recent events that got canceled, Royal Caribbean replaced it with another day in Noumea. On the Sunday. When the whole town is closed. There's an old saying, to the victors belong the spoils. There's another old saying, Senator. Don't piss down my back and tell me it's raining. Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. <laughs>